response to the request of the Anglican Communion. Uh, that document, uh, let me hasten to say, is not complete. There is no draft uh, at this point, and um, we are still looking for, um, uh, we, I think we, we've made enormous uh, progress today in building a, a very strong and, and uh, broad consensus in the House of Bishops, uh, but um, we still have um, work to do uh, to refine uh, the document. Uh, it's our hope that that document uh, will be refined overnight, that we'll have uh, opportunity to uh, look at it again in the morning and perhaps before noon tomorrow um, or sometime middle of the day, we hope, uh, but certainly by the end of the day tomorrow, we will have some sort of um, full response. As uh, my brother uh, Bishop um, Neil said, uh, this is uh, a continuing process of discernment and clarification of the relationship of the Episcopal Church with the whole Anglican Communion in several matters relating to polity and to decisions made by General Convention in the implementation of uh, especially the ordination of uh, Bishop uh, Jim Robinson and other uh, issues that have arisen from uh, that, those decisions. Uh, but through this process, we have proven uh, the quality of the life of this church in which we can uh, all uh, talk openly with, with each other, we can differ, and we can uh, also pray together. And uh, as he was saying, we are still working on a, a document which I would hope would uh, be um, um, a, good, a good response for the um, requests of the primates and the ACC, and uh, also, at the same time, uh, value uh, our own identity and decisions. We're a passionate group of human beings, bishops, male and female. We have a lot on our hearts and our minds. We're working to do our best to be very articulate and clear about what we're saying to the Anglican Communion and to our own church. I think that uh, Bishop Alexander and Bishop Alvarez have said everything else. Uh, and we're working toward hopefully a conclusion tomorrow with a specific statement. But you need to know that we are men and women of integrity and strength to respect each other's opinions and have worked very hard to be uh, abundant with one another. Questions? Michael. Hi, Michael Paulson from the Boston Globe. Uh, Bishop Alexander mentioned that you have arrived at or are approaching a uh, consensus. What is the consensus? Well, I think that's it'd be a little premature uh, to uh, to suggest that we have agreed in, in all things. I think the point upon which the House of Bishops, however, um, has uh, agreed widely that we want to provide a statement uh, that actually uh, does respond with some clarity to the uh, request made uh, to us by the primates and of the uh, um, other instruments of unity, the Anglican Communion. Uh, we want that statement to be clear. Uh, and, and uh, unambiguous, and we are working in that direction. I think that is the clearest commitment of the House of Bishops at this moment, that we uh, really do intend uh, to come out of this meeting with a, uh, a statement that will speak uh, clearly to the communion and clearly to the membership of the Episcopal Church. No, I think that that's a wonderful statement. <coughs> Uh, Bruce Nolan from the uh, the morning paper, the Times, picking in New Orleans. There are a number of, we we're told there are a number of resolutions uh, have been introduced uh, that are sort of in the hopper. Would you explain to us, to the best of your knowledge, how are they going to be incorporated, if at all, in the work of the drafting, um, in drafting the communique? I mean, do they get called up? Will they be discussed, voted on? Are they sidetracked? Yeah. How does this work? I would not say that anything is sidetracked at this time, that all ideas are on the table. And yes, there have been several different methods that have been set forth uh, of how we're to respond or how we would like to respond. Uh, I think we're working out exactly what that method will be and what form it will take. But it is our intent that it will be clear, concise, and direct. And I think it's important to emphasize that the, um, 
the, the bishops uh, were invited by Bishop Catherine, our presiding bishop, uh, prior to the meeting that if they had any um, ideas, any documents, any resolutions, any proposals, uh, that those would certainly be welcome in the mix. Uh, it wasn't an invitation that we will go through necessarily these resolutions in the business, but these are business session, but these are all contributions to the conversation um, and have been very uh, rich contributions uh, from a variety of viewpoints that have played very well into uh, our, our larger uh, conversations um, uh, in, in, in the House of Bishops. I think it was a, an awareness that any group of, a, of 100 plus bishops uh, will always do their work more effectively when they don't start with a blank sheet of paper. Um, and so we've had this variety of contributions that have been given uh, and they've all played a significant role in uh, bringing us to where we are now and before this is over tomorrow, uh, I think we will probably see uh, lots of, um, uh, of the contributions that the bishops uh, gave clear forethought to this and, and brought ideas and contributions with them. No, I would just uh, raise, uh, support what he said. Uh, we've been uh, extending our session this afternoon precisely because of that process of continued expansion and listening to each other to enhance the uh, different points of view so that whatever document is <coughs> finally uh, crafted uh, and approved will be a reflection of the whole mentality of the House of Bishops. Rachel? Um, so we were told that I have to I'm sorry, Rachel's all with the Associated Press. Um, that uh, Bishop Patterson from I believe New Zealand is that right? Uh, he spoke with you in private session today. Can you say anything about what he said?